Hi, and welcome back once again. This is Omid Rahat, otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon. In today's short video clip, I would like to demonstrate to you a 17-year-old boy who has undergone three times adenoidectomy and three times insertion of grommets previously. Once the grommets were extruded, once again, he developed chronic otitis media with effusion, which caused him conductive hearing loss. After thorough investigation of his nasal pharynx using a nasal endoscope, it was clear to me that his eustachian tube's openings were abnormal. Therefore, I decided to insert a permanent ventilation tube into his eardrum. The pictures that you're seeing right now is from his eardrum, where I have already performed a myringotomy. Through the myringotomy opening, I am suctioning the mucus collected into his middle ear. Once the middle ear is suctioned clear from this mucoid material, a T-shaped ventilation tube is placed. This T-tube will be permanent, hoping that it will stay there for as long as possible and allowing the middle ear to get ventilated through this tube as his eustachian tubes are out of order. The tube is played around and it is inserted. Care must be given not to tear the eardrum because as you can see the eardrum is not really healthy and it looks atrophied. Once the tube is in, practically the job is done. Thank you once again for watching my clips and stay tuned for future upcoming videos.